YouTube, so it has definitely been a while since I have posted a video, and unfortunately again, for very good reason. Just like last time when there was a long hiatus because I was sick, I was sick again. Thankfully not with the same bug, but ooh, it was, it was pretty bad, and I'm still getting over the tail end of it, so I'm a little hoarse still, because there's a lot of coughing involved, and I feel like I kind of blew out my vocal cords a little bit. By the way, my hair is actually really clean right now, but because I didn't blow dry it, it looks all wonky. So, and the way the light's hitting it, it's making me really self-conscious because it almost looks like the opposite the way that it's hitting it. It's almost making it look like it's all greasy, which it's not, but I don't know. I had enough years of being ridiculed over such things when I was little that where I'm very self-conscious over, I'm like, but it's not, but it's not. But anyway, moving right along. I'm babbling, so. Remember how I had that awful stomach bug that I made a vlog about, right? Yeah, and remember I uh, mentioned the TMI part, I, I think I mentioned it anyway, that it went, uh, the throw up went through my nose. How many of you remember just how prone I am to sinus infections, okay? Needless to say, it triggered a really, really bad one. And I think this was the uh, one of the few bacterial-based sinus infections I've had in my life. Most of them have been viral, and I've been able to fight them off without ever going to a doctor over them. But this one, this was a lot like the one I had in December when I was sick over the week of Christmas, and almost felt like it may have been a lingering uh, residualness of that bug, because it was just like that, only about ten times worse. Super high fever that wouldn't break for the better part of two weeks. It was about 102 to 103 just non-stop across the board. All I did was sleep, pretty much. I was damn near comatose for one of those weeks. For me, I'm usually a person who can't even so much as nap. Like, at all. And I don't sleep that terribly much at night. Like, I fall asleep ridiculously early. But I also, like, wake up in the middle of the night, like, do stuff, go back to bed, and then wake up fairly early in the morning, and I don't know. I just don't require that much sleep altogether. But anyhow, yeah, it was very alarming to me that all I could do was sleep. Like, it's alarming enough if I'm sick enough to sleep, like, a day, but for that much in a row, I honestly was questioning if I was dying. And the other horrid thing with this one that also tipped me off that I think this is bacterial based and not viral based. This horrible smell that would not leave the inside of my nose. I mean, it didn't smell like throw up, thank God, but I'm like so sensitive, sense wise, or scent wise, I should say. I can pick up on like the sick smell. Certain people can smell that, other people can't. It's kind of like the whole thing, how certain dogs can sniff out cancer. It's, it's like that, but just with generic illness, about 24 hours before anyone comes down with anything, I can smell it. I can pinpoint it to an area of the house and tell you who it's going to be from that, usually. So it, it's a smell very similar to that, but different, and it was stuck in my nose, which was alarming. But what makes me wonder if this bug had anything to do with the one in December is that there'd been a lingering sense of that since, dis like, actually, further back than that. All the way back to when I was sick in, like, September or in October. So, I feel like this might have been one of those things that if I had just gone to a doctor a lot sooner about it, a lot of this could have been avoided, but... Now I know just how easy it is and next time to not let it go so far. They prescribed me a Z-Pack, which is zithromycin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think I am. Which is a five-day course of antibiotics. And basically, it stays in your system. It has a super long half-life. It's basically like the equivalent of taking about a month's worth of antibiotics in five days time and it keeps fighting it and it's like the same thing they give you if you have pneumonia which ironically both my parents have right now so 
Yeah, Z packs all around for everybody, right? But um, I was very, very concerned because one of the risk things on it, same thing with erythromycin, which is also in the same category of drugs, is it can cause um, sudden cardiac death, which for somebody who has massive heart problems like I do, that's a terrifying thing. So since I'd never had this antibiotic before, because I've only fairly recently become allergic to amoxicillin, penicillin, all the cillin drugs, like within the past, I don't know, I guess not that recently, but I was around 19, I started realizing I was allergic to it because I'd get hives every time they gave it to me, but anyway, enough of that. So, basically anything I should have had antibiotics for in the meantime, I kind of let slide because I didn't want to, like, try something else. I wanted to see if I could get better from it on my own and not need it, which, in retrospect, was a very dumb move, I realized. And I probably made it way worse for myself than it ever should have been in the first place. But anyway, as I was saying, the, um, the side effect that it creates is, um, it's more for people with abnormally slow heartbeats and arrhythmias, which, okay, I have arrhythmias, but I have an abnormally fast heartbeat. So I figured maybe it won't affect me. Maybe it won't. So I, I mean, I even, um, I called the pharmacy to ask their opinion on this because I had a hard time getting hold of the doctor in the first place anyway to get the prescription. But, so, they told me that this isn't something they'd automatically flag as a do not give this patient this drug because the risk is that high. And they said technically it could happen to anybody, but the, my personal risk with my factors aren't that much higher than most people's, so I'd probably be okay. So that made me feel a bit better about it, although I was still really hesitant about the first dose and was, like, convinced that bad things were going to happen, but they didn't. I'm very grateful for that. But, um, yeah, I was really, really nervous over this because they made such a big deal out of it on all the websites. Additionally to that, I was also really, really concerned at reading the um, user reviews of side effects for it. The main ones seem to be nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, all the horrible gastric stuff. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. The last thing on the planet I want right now is anything that's going to screw with my stomach. But apparently all antibiotics have that. But this one's kind of notorious. But I also read in there... If you eat a lot of yogurt, it, a lot of times it can offset that. So, I basically stockpiled yogurt and have been eating it religiously every day. So far, knock on wood, I've been okay, and I take the last dose tonight. So, I think I'm okay on that front. But because I was so paranoid over it, I also got the doctor to give me a small prescription of Zofran because I was that tweaked over it. And it was at that point I realized that Zofran also has that same exact drug <coughs> drug warning that Zithromycin does about the heart thing. And I've had Zofran before and been just fine, so apparently my worrying was for moot, I guess. But one thing that does increase the risk, though, is the combination of Zithromycin and Advair. So I haven't been able to take my asthma meds in about a week. My lungs are definitely missing it. They, it, I need to take it again soon. I, yeah, the wheeziness has come back full force without it. So definitely, I'll, I'll be glad to be done take actively taking the meds because I think the risk is only elevated while you're taking that. So even though it'll still be in my system for probably a month, I think I'll double check it with a pharmacist just to make sure, but I believe that once you're done actively taking them, then it's safe to go back to that. Although I'm sure the doctor would have told me, oh, you should have been taking it the whole time anyway, why suffer? But uh, I'd rather not elevate the risk if I don't have to. So anyway, yeah, that. So there was that, which was unpleasant enough in and of itself, but oh, it gets worse. And it's so embarrassing, because this is the first time this ever happened to me with a sinus infection. 
Did any of you guys know that a sinus infection can also trigger pink eye? I didn't. I have had probably easily a hundred sinus infections since I was about 19. Never once had that happen before. Happened this time. Like, the day before I got to talk to the doctor, this cropped up. I was like, well, I suppose if it had to happen, this would be the ideal time for it to happen, but... Really, universe? Really? I just... Oh! Oh my gosh, it just... Just to add it, injury to insult, or insult to injury, whichever, but... <gasps> yeah, I mean, at least... That's not nearly as big a deal. That was more just embarrassing that this was even a thing that was happening on top of everything else. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was so bad. I mean, at least it was only on one side. And I did, I have had it one other time in my life, in about third or fourth grade, and it's easy to treat. You use eye drops for food pretty much like a week and you're good to go, so. I started those before the other, so yeah, I'm, I'm done with those. And as you can see, my eyes are white again, and yay. It wasn't even like nearly as unpleasant as the other time, maybe because it was just stemming from another infection versus being its own thing, but it was still very ugly to look at. But at least I remembered the rules this time, that you do not touch your eyes. I was very careful about that. I was only using tissues to, like, dab at it if I felt like it needed it. So, yay me for actually being really, really, really good about that. Because I remember when I had it as a little kid, I had issues with that. So, But yeah, and I also didn't realize just how often I go like this until I had that and had to try and not let myself do that. So, but since it's gone now, it, it's cool. So anyway, but yeah, there's all that. But mostly just the awful thing with it was that fever that wouldn't break. Once that part broke, a lot of it improved quickly because just the biggest part was just how much of an energy suck it was. I couldn't get up and do anything. And obviously, I wasn't going to get up on YouTube and make videos on things I'm going to put on my mouth while I'm sick, because, sure, it's a sinus infection, but I, I, mm, I don't want to be iffy with it, so, yeah, I figured I'd wait till I'm better, but since I'm better, I should be, <laughs> unless, you know, a third thing crops up, I really hope that does not happen, but, you know, with my immune system... Anything's possible, I suppose, but yeah, I'm going to be making an effort to try and just get right back into the videos right away and make sure that that doesn't happen again. So yeah, because I still have a bunch of stuff on hand to review, but while we're talking about it anyway, I have still had zero luck in finding those new Revos. I'm so frustrated, guys. I've my sister and I went to like seven different CVS stores. We have not been able to find them anywhere. And even while I was sick, she was still hunting out other ones even further away than that for me, trying to find them, and nothing. At this point, we have only found two out of the like... I'm trying to count. There's the three diamonds. There's the honey one. There's the four tubes, the two liquidy tubes, the two twist and pass. So that's like 12. Out of 12, we have found two. We have found the honey one, which actually, you know, that's the one I was the most excited about. So I am happy that, of the regular ones anyway, I am happy I have that one at least. If nothing else, I'm thrilled I got that. And of the diamond ones, I was able to track down the pomegranate one on eBay because it was the only one I saw going for a reasonable price. Because I'm not going to pay five or more dollars per one of those. That's ridiculous. Plus shipping. That, no, no, that's not fair. That's not right. When I know for a fact they don't cost that much in the store. So if any of you guys have been able to have any luck in finding... The other two diamonds, or the Revo sticks, that I'm looking for those big time. That's actually what I'm the most excited about now that I'm trying to find. 
or the two liquid tubes. I think that's all at this point. I'm trying to think. I think that's it. So that leaves us with four, six. Oh, and the twist and pouts, the little round twist and pouts. Because I mean, as a beetle fan, that's I gotta have those. You know, that's just it's a given. <laughs> There's the little zebra one, and there's the cheetah print one. I think there's only two. The other ones I've seen on eBay, I believe, are fakes. So, just so you know. But the two that I know are legit are the zebra and the cheetah print one. So, if any of you have a CVS near you that is carrying these, that actually has them in stock, if you're willing to sell them to me for the price bought in the store, you can show me, like, the receipt and prove that that's... What it actually is, I will be cool to pay you on PayPal, and if you can mail them to me, because I I just give up in trying to find them, because I don't know where they're at. I'm about ready to write to Revo and see if there's any way they could, like, sell them to me or give them to me, because I do the reviews on them. I don't know if they actually would or not with that many. I feel like they might do it on a couple, but I don't know that they'd do it on that many of them, especially on something as nice as the stick ones, but yeah. Anyway, so just throwing that out there to the internet ether that that is a thing that I have been looking very hard for and getting very frustrated that I've had zero luck in finding. So anyway, other than that, I do have other stuff to review because in my frustrations at not being able to find those, I kind of binge bought a lot of other things in the meantime to make sure I'd still have stuff to review while trying to find those. So I found two of the three new baby lips. The only one that I'm still missing is the peach posy one. But in the meantime, I also bought... Uh, these aren't new, but I liked them. It's a three-pack of the giant, I think they're called the Biggie Lip Smackers. They're like about this big around. They're insane. But it's like a soda pack of them. It's like Dr. Pepper, cream soda, and like black cherry flavored soda, which I love all three of those, but two of those happen to be my favorite sodas ever. Because before, yeah, I know you all know about my Dr. Pepper habit, but um, before I started drinking that, my pet soda was always cream soda. And I still to this day attest that if they ever made a caffeinated cream soda, I would dump Dr. Pepper in a heartbeat and go to that. Because <laughs> I still absolutely love cream soda to this day. I just wish it had caffeine in it because I am a caffeine addict. Oh. Oh, I'm an addict. But <laughs> anyway, so I got the three pack of those. I actually got the four pack of the CoverGirl Revo mashup that they did last month. I was telling you guys about that I ordered. I actually did break down and order them from that website. So I got the four pack. They are amazing. I can't wait to show them to you guys. I, I actually am really, really psyched about those. I got a bunch of different limited edition chapsticks in different flavors that I just thought were really interesting and I kept seeing them go for pretty cheap all over eBay so I was like, you know what, why not, why not? So I got a bunch of those so I can review those. I also got some that aren't limited edition but were just fun. They were interesting to me because I've seen the mixed sticks, the, ones, the two-ended ones with the different flavors on them. For quite a while, I was intrigued to see hey, any good, I don't know, but I figured, you know what, let's try them. Since I can't find what I'm actively looking for right now, let's try out other stuff just for fun, because it's cheap. So, I got some of those. I got my first Soft Lips Cube. I think there's only about five or six of those total anyway, but yeah, I think I got the, what was it? pomegranate blueberry, if I remember right. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, I got it the day before I got sick, so I haven't gotten to try it yet, but I did get that. I'm really interested in the peach mango one, because you know me and peach, how much I love anything peach, but I haven't been able to find that one anywhere either. All the times I went looking for, um, for those, uh, 
CVS exclusive Revos. I made a point of checking all of those f to see just in case they might have the peach mango soft lips, but, uh, cube, but no, they didn't, so, eh, if I run across it, cool, if I don't, no biggie, because, like I said, that's not, like, one of my pet brands where it's like, I must have all the things, but, yeah, so I got one of that, I got my first I forget if I got one or if I got two of them. I think maybe I just got one. I got my first Nivea stick, because some of you were asking me to uh, review that, and I saw the milk and honey one, and it made me think of the Honey Revo that I didn't have quite yet. The, Re the Honey Revo was the one we actually just found a couple days ago, but made me think of that, so I picked it up to see if it was any good, but again, I have yet to review that. Um... I believe I got a couple other things that day, too. I'm trying to remember what. I can't quite see them on my desk from here, but I just, like, randomly, because we kept, uh, the lady in CVS was saying that they had ordered the new Revos, and they were getting them in stock, but she didn't know when they'd be on the shelf, so my sister and I literally kept coming back, like, every few hours that day, because we are that persistent, and then did it again the next day. And I eventually got, like, so self-conscious because I didn't want this lady to think I'm, like, a shoplifter or something. Because it ain't like that. No, I'm just that persistent. Because I knew it had to look really bad that I keep coming in there, walking to the same spot, looking at it, and just leaving without buying anything. So I eventually got, like, really self-conscious and, like, started buying, like, one thing at a time each time I came in to check. And I ended up, like, by the end of this two-day span with a bunch of just random crap that... Do I really need it? No, but I was really self-conscious, so I was getting like a bunch of just little things or only like a buck or two at a time because I felt that weird about going in there that many times in that short of a time span. <sighs> First world problems. <laughs> so, yeah. I honestly can't remember what else there was. Oh, one other one that was also Lip Smackers that... I know that I'm technically too old for them, but there's no law saying you can't use them if you're an adult. I, I still use the Dr. Pepper ones, so why not try the others? But I heard a rumor that they were discontinuing the Dr. Pepper Doctor, er, the Dr. Pepper lip smackers. So I figured I should probably grab one while they're still selling them, just in case, given that that particular lip balm is the whole reason why I ever started drinking Dr. Peppers in the first place was because I used those long before I ever drank that stuff. I just really liked how it tasted and I got curious one day of what the stuff actually tasted like and then I was like, this is really good. I like this stuff. So I just, yeah. But um, because of that, I picked up one of those um, variety packs of the Lip Smackers. At the soda variety packs, I should say, and had like eight different ones in it. Um, I, on the assumption that the Dr. Pepper one was in there, because I know that they used to sell them that way. Apparently not anymore. <laughs> um, I assumed that the one that I think, I can't see him from right here, so I can't judge, but the one that I think is like Cherry Coke, just for the color of the label on it, I assumed that it was totally Dr. Pepper because of that, right? It's not. And there's no Dr. Pepper one in there, so I was like, well, that was a fucking waste! <laughs> what can you do, right? What can you do? But there is a bunch of good ones in there, so I mean, it's fun just to reminisce with an old childhood favorite. I mean, it has like three different forms of Coke in there. There's like the regular Coke flavor, vanilla Coke, and cherry Coke. There's Sprite. There's root beer, Barks root beer, which that one actually so far has been my favorite in there. I was really impressed with the authenticity of that one. There was Fanta grape, which I gave away to my mom. There was Fanta strawberry and Fanta orange. I may give Fanta Orange away to one of my sisters after I review it because she loves orange and uh, I'm not that wild on it. I mean, I could take it or leave it, but since I have an overabundance of lip balm and it doesn't bother her if I like use it once, she, yeah. 
Because, I mean, especially in stick form, we have our old standby with each other anyway. Because for family, it's the same germs. We don't care. But it's like, if it's only been, like, used once or twice in it's stick form, just cut off the little end bit of it. And it's like a brand new stick. Ta-da! Big freaking whip. It's not like I'm sitting there licking the thing. It's on my mouth. So, yeah. But anyway, we're sisters. It doesn't matter. So, but yeah. So she expressed interest in that one. If I'm not that wild on it after I try it, which... Just given my history of me and orange stuff, I probably won't be that wild on it, so she'll probably end up with it. But, um, yeah. That. So there's that. And I feel like there was something else. I'm trying to remember what else there was. And now I'm blanking. And yet, all of these will no doubt get reviewed, so... Even if I can't remember them during the course of this video, there will eventually be reviews. You will eventually get to see them all. Yeah. Not to mention my current collection of stuff that I just haven't gotten around to reviewing yet either. All of those will also get reviews too. Because I still have a bunch of EOS ones and I still have a bunch of Revos that are in my collection that still have to be reviewed. Like the last two of the uh, Valentine's Day collection. I meant to go back and do the pink sugar one. I told you this in the last uh, vlog that I had used it to try and get an idea of what I even thought it smelled or tasted like. And then I came down with that stomach flu the next day and then I didn't trust it. So I bought, I bought another one just in case because I don't, I do not want to recatch that bug. So bought a new one. Got sick again right after it arrived, although I didn't use it, so it's it's okay. I don't have to buy a third one. That would suck. But yeah, so that'll probably be the first of the Revo ones when I start getting back to doing the reviews, because I do need to finish up that set of them to for the reviews anyway. So there's that. Um, trying to think of what else to update you guys on. Oh! I have a new nephew. I mentioned it in the comments to a couple people, but yeah, he was born on... Where is my iPod? Because I'd also like to show you guys a picture if I can, because he's very cute. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to remember what day he was born. The 16th. He was born on March 16th. So. And I'd like to show you a picture. Because he's very cute. Just like his daddy was. Who's my brother? Yeah, he looks a lot like my brother did when he was born. Which just makes me like, oh, over it. Because oh, he was an adorable baby. He is my favorite sibling. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. Here we are. Let me turn it so you guys can see. Can you see that? That's my new nephew. That's little Joshua. Little Joshua David. Isn't he cute? Adorable little guy. He's such a good baby, too. He didn't make a peep the whole time we were there visiting. I'm just like, no baby is that quiet. Oh my gosh. Let me show you a picture of my brother holding him. I took. Here we go. I'm trying to tilt it so you can see the baby's face. Too. There we go. I know, I'm holding it at a weird angle, but yeah. He's just so cute, oh my gosh. Yeah, a little bit baby crazy right now because of it, but anyway. And I made that because we all know me with my crafty streak. I made this as one of the gifts for him. It, well, for the parents anyway. It's, um, I'm trying to tilt this so you guys can see it. Dang it, okay, you can, well... It's not doing it justice, but it's a needlepoint thing that's got little blue baby footprints and his name, the stats, and yeah. So there's that, and I made a baby blanket too, but those of you who follow my social media have totally already seen this stuff already. So, yes, <laughs> there's that. Um, what else? Mostly, it's just been that I've been sick, so you really haven't missed out on much. I feel like I've missed out on a lot. Like, right before I got sick, like, 
I came home from that day that my sister and I went to like the seven different stores in one day to find out Liza's back in rehab. At this point, she's already back out. But it's like, wow, was I sick for that long? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was sick for an entire Liza rehab stint. Which my sister picked this up for me today, which... Uh, it's a tabloid, I know. I don't buy any of the crap that they say, but it has good pictures in it, which I do love. I do so love. And it also has my Goldie Hawn and my Sally Field and has Ringo. It's got Dudley and all sorts of good people in here. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole strip of Goldie Hawn in here. I was just like, yay, Goldie! And I'm trying to find the Liza article show you the pictures. How many of you even care? Probably none. I don't care because I love Liza. So, in my channel, I will show you my Liza. So, I love her anyway. Yeah, there she is. And for anyone who has been talking crap about her, you know what? It's unfair to make the comparison to Judy. And do you know why? Because Judy didn't accept help whenever she had a problem. And Let's face it, she always had a problem, but but she didn't want help. She didn't want to get better. She was kind of on a road to self-destruction. Liza, on the other hand, has always known when to reach out for help, and I commend her for that. People can ridicule her all they want. They can ridicule her every which way for all the rehab stints, but you know what? I respect her for it because she actually gets the help, and she tries really hard to stay on the wagon, so... Given all the crap in her life, I think she does a really good job, so say whatever y'all want about her, but personally, I, I think she is an absolutely wonderful example of survivorhood, and she's really inspirational to me anyhow. That's part of why I love her so much. She just, she's been through basically everything a person can go through in life, and she still is here. And she still manages to carry on. That means a lot to me. So, yeah, there's more pictures in here. Like that lovely one there of her. And there is all of these. Hello, Dud! Yeah. But, yeah. It's just a little thing. Yeah. My sister mostly picked it up for the pictures for me because she knows that even though I could give a crap less about the tabloid part, she knew that I'd want the pictures. Yeah, she thought right. So, <laughs> yeah, but she didn't know about any of the other stars that I love being in here, like Ringo or anything. So, I mean, it's just like a little blurb for him, too, that I almost went right past. But, ah, there's Ringo. I was like, hey, promoting the new album, which... Still on the fence about if I'll listen to it or not. I'm still trying to do my review, or not reviews, but reaction videos of the last album. So I was like, yeah, that. <laughs> so, anyway, I said pet aside. So there's that. Um, oh yeah, it's the first day of the month. That means, and I had one up for last month and then I took it down, but the goals list dun 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 which being sick most of the month we all know not much got done here but a couple things did so it is worth revisiting and for my own just not well-being but for my own sake it's worth reviewing just to get an idea of stuff that i still need to do so the goals list as it stands the first one on it is still the get the room and bathroom clean and keep them that way. Still haven't done either one because I'm a piece of crap. Well, I cleaned the toilet after I got sick because it was gross. But other than that, I have done like no cleaning because I've been sick. And it made it that worse, much worse because now I also have a month's worth of laundry to do, which I don't like doing laundry. But anyway. So, the unfinished projects list in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fred and Ginger, nope. Tractor, cross stitch, nope. Glee cross stitch. Well, I, mm, it's not done, but I tried to haul ass to try and finish it before the last episode of Glee. Didn't really hit the mark because 
I got sick. Like, I was working on it the day before I came down with it, but, like, that night I was definitely feeling it and had to stop, so... Yeah, it didn't happen, but I still intend to finish it, even though I didn't finish it before the end of the show, but yeah. Princess Cross Stitch, well, I worked on that some too, but it's also not done, so I still suck. The Liza Beaded Portrait, oh, oh, I have finished! I did that one! I did that one. I sat down and I finished it. Wasn't quite in time for her birthday, but I got it done the day after her birthday. But I spent, like, the whole day working on it the day before. But I did finish that. So, yeah. Should I put a check next to it? I think I should put a check next to it. Or should I cross it off? What do you guys think? I'll cross it off. The thunk. Slippers. Nope. Baby, bo baby booties. Nope. Red sweater. Nope. Flower tote bag, nope. The Liza afghan, nope. The lace gloves, nope. The fruit trophies and potholders, nope. The red hat, nope. The record pillow, nope. The Ami groomy fruit set, nope. The latch hook rug, nope. Not only is it a nope, not only is it a didn't touch it, it's a, it's unfinished. And I bought another one because clearly I need another one when I haven't even finished this one. For the record, I will not let myself start that one till I finish that one, but yeah, I I don't know, guys. I don't fucking know. The horse and kitty painting? Nope. The star blanket? Nope. The Mario purse? Nope. The linen towel? Nope. The cupcake scarf? Nope. I don't know why I'm singing these. <laughs> The iPad holder, case, sleeve, whatever. It's literally written down in that wording. I'm not even joking. Nope! Uh, <laughs> the Mork and Mindy Cross Stitch. It really makes me sad that I haven't finished that because I wasn't even really making it for me so much as I was trying to finish it so I could see if Zelda Williams wants it. If she doesn't, then whatever. I'll hang on to it because it's still cool. But if she does, I thought it'd be a kind of unique thing to give to her. But anyway... She lives in the area, so. Uh, the rest of the Perler Bead Awareness ribbons. Nope. Although I was thinking about while I was sick, because it's just like a simple thing. I figured maybe I could force myself to sit up for a little while and just do something constructive with my time, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> so, yeah, another big nope. The bamboo stitch scarf. Nope. Although I walk past it every day and I'm like, I really should finish that. Ah, all the pride items, nope. Patchwork skirt, nope. And I have extra guilt because I started that last Easter and now it's almost Easter again and I don't think I've touched it once in the entire year since then. It has literally just been sitting there taking up what would normally be my library bag, but A, haven't been able to go to the library and B, yeah, now there's yarn in it, so that's another excuse not to go to the library and actually be constructive in reading. <sighs> well, hmm, the horse cross stitch, nope. The Doctor Who blanket, nope. Complete more spa sets, nope. And there's, I thought I was gonna add another thing to this, and now I forgot what it was. Oh, well. <sighs> Other side of the list. <laughs> Stop skipping meals for days at a time in a bid to lose weight. Ah, big fail on that one this month, although it wasn't in a bid to lose weight. Although, I did a lot. Like, I had a pair of pants that were really snug fitting back at, like, the start of the month before I got sick. Like, even the button on the jeans, like, cut into my stomach a little bit painfully to where I'd always have to, like put a cotton ball there or something just to pad it a little bit. I know, it's weird, but by a few days ago, I was realizing these pants literally fall off my hips. Like, without a belt, they fall down. I took a picture um, holding them out from my hips. Actually, I'll show you guys a picture because I think I still have it on my iPod. But, um, yeah. I've lost way too much weight. I'm trying to put some of it back on. I know that's a weird thing to say, 
but most people diet to lose weight. Then I'm over here like, I eat to try and maintain my weight because I, I have a fast metabolism. It comes off really stupidly easy for me to where it's like problematic here. Can you guys see that? Can you see how much extra room there now is in these jeans from the side of my body? Yeah, that's problematic. So I'm trying desperately to actually put some back on without just eating a bunch of crap food to do it. I'm trying to do it in a healthy way, so. <sighs> yeah, that. I have not set foot on a scale because I don't want to know. I honestly don't want to know. Uh, let's see. List all the items already made that are just sitting around unlisted on Etsy. <laughs> yeah, about that. Etsy, like, redid their site and basically screwed everybody over in the way that they did, redid the categories. I went from having basically at least a sale every day to zilch. I don't know if it's because it's tax time. I don't know if it's because the weather's changing. I don't know if it's a little column A, a little column B. I don't know if it's because of the categories thing. I don't know if it's all the above. But it's not just me, because I've been reading the forums and almost everybody's been hit just as hard and... It's really daunting to try and feel motivated to keep doing it when it feels like it's coming to a screeching halt and I don't know if it's going to pick back up or not. So, yeah, that that's a bad thing that happened. Uh, bake more, maybe once a month, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, have not baked. Probably won't. Gonna be honest with myself. It was a goal. I don't see it happening. Uh, get more variations of current current items up in the shop. Again, see the prior point about all the crap that just went down with Etsy, and this is why I have not tried harder lately. I think I made about 22 bucks off it last month. That's sad. That's sad. Previous year, in March, I made over $200 off of it. Yeah. Anyway. Continue expanding product lines with other new items in the show. Ah, this is just mocking me now. I'm really hoping that the sales come back up because this is just... Boy. My god. Anyway. Learn more craft techni yeah, techniques. I can talk. Yeah. Haven't done that this month. But... Uh, or actually, wait. Yes, I have, because while I was sick, I wanted something to do that I could do in bed just to keep my mind from going insane, and I did buy a needlepoint kit. It's different from cross-stitch, which is my usual um, needle stitching technique. So, needlepoint is different. It, I'm having a little bit of a rough time getting used to it, but it's not that hard, so I am working on learning that, so... Actually, that one is not a fail. That one is... I actually did that, kind of. Even though I didn't entirely learn it. I'm still in the process of learning it, but... Whatever. Uh, try new craft types outside my comfort zone to experiment. Yeah, I think this falls into that, too. Okay, make every effort to continue upward. Sales trajectory... Ah, again, it's mocking me, and... Yeah, it failed for last month. Write more patterns again with the Etsy thing. Stop it. See if 2015 will be the year YouTube turns a profit. Yes, that, which I mentioned in the now deleted video, but yes. Make time for guitar and piano and or piano daily, even if only a little bit. Yeah, that's not happened. Well, piano's happened a few times, but not very much and basically only when nobody's been home to judge me so yeah draw more write more well oh well yeah i don't know if that was in the past month it may have been the month before so i don't know if draw more counts for this month but i did do a little bit of writing didn't post anywhere but i did some writing create something every day ha 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 yeah no that didn't happen Take more photos and or try to keep up with photo challenges. Ha! <laughs> nope. Make more videos. Try to maintain regularity. 
I made like two videos all of last month. I failed at it this time. Keep maintaining the Facebook movie challenge and beat years, uh, last year's total. Well, I've been maintaining the movie challenge folder anyway. I haven't beat last year's total yet, but that'll take a while. <laughs> Work through all the DVR stuff. Yeah, not through all of it, but I have been working through it, so. I mean, especially while sick. How many other things can I do? So, yeah, I have work done that. Get the craft blog up and running. Yeah, it still hasn't happened. Actually work on Cabaret 54. I did a teeny bit, but then I got sick and lost my motivation again. Update the other blogs more. Yeah, that doesn't work when they got deleted. Uh, get back into the daily reading habit. Failed. Take vitamins daily. Failed. Stop. Oh wait, I already read that one. Exercise. Failed. Well, I did it like once. <laughs> um, yeah, the di no, that counts for last month. Never mind. I was going to say that the day before I came down with the stomach bug, I actually went for like the first jog of my life that wasn't like forced by a school. But since I got sick with the stomach bug on the first day of the month, that means that jog counted for February. So yeah, that doesn't count for this month. Okay, that sucks. <sighs> Maintain the med schedule. Don't let it get wonky again. Well, it got wonky again, but not by my own fault. It was because I can't take the antibiotics, so it'll be fixed soon. Uh, drink at least a water a bottle a day and a cup of tea daily. I haven't done the tea daily, but I have been drinking a bottle of water. Yet. I've been drinking a bunch of water lately, so I've done that one. Sort all the beads. Yeah, no, didn't. <laughs> work harder at communication skills. Actually, I'd say I've been doing a pretty decent job at that. Yep. Stop letting anxiety win. Stop you from going out so much. Well, I was working on that and again got sick. This one, it's like there's a lot of stuff that kind of just got totally fucked over by being sick like all damn month. I had one good week in the middle and yeah. Try to double my current savings. Yeah, no. I've kind of just been maintaining an even keel, but I have to pay taxes soon, so. Mm, that's gonna suck. Carve out more gaming time again. Well, I've been doing that at least. Improve organization. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. I could cry. Yeah. That didn't happen either. I kind of just... I get very, very disappointed every time I look at this list because I realize how bad I suck at it. These shouldn't even be that hard of goals to hit. And yet, month after month, it seems that I cannot do the grand majority of them. Although this time, at least there was a few that I did. I think that was better than the last time but I did a check in one of these. So, there's that. I just realized this video is like 48 minutes long. So, I'm going to wrap this up here. And I will try to get a review video up tomorrow if I can. I'm going to hope that I can. There's hopefully no good reason why I shouldn't be able to do that. So, anyway, till next time. Bye!